Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's. We're going to talk today about the basics of hunt groups. Now, the very basics. Now, hunt groups are extremely powerful due to the fact that <clears throat> they are the core of your call center. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when you set up a full fledged, full blown call center, hunt groups are your skill groups or your, you know, where all your cues are going to go, where your agents log in, etc. Right? But what we're doing is we're just setting up a basic hunt group for a couple tech support guys that sit back in a room and take calls depending on who's there. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you how to assign the, the extension of the hunk group to a trunk or the incoming destination of our trunk and go from there. All right, so you can do, you can add the hunk group in one of two ways. You can do add, hunt, next, and you see I'm abbreviating. Um, I'll do five. So you can see add hunk group. I can type next or I can actually type a number as you can see up here. All right, so I'm going to type 13 because I'm just going to pick one. And we're going to call this tech support. Group extension, I'm going to give it 1030 group types. Now, group types, there are a number of them. Now, if you want to know the, the exact details of these screen types, go check out the Communication Manager screen reference uh, manual, and it will talk about these in great detail because you're going to need to understand these when you're setting up your full call center. All right, but what we're doing is we're just going to do a circular, which basically says start at one number and route your way through it like a round robin. Now, the nice thing about this is the comm manager or via the system knows the last extension it left off, so it's going to continue down that path. So if you just have two phones, it's going to start with one and jump to the other back and forth. But let's say if you have 20 and it ends at the last call was at the 15th agent, it's going to start at 16 next. All right, kind of a cool thing. Core, obviously I'm giving it 13 because you all know why. You can also assign coverage paths to this, which is really cool. So check out my basic video on coverage paths and what, what, what they can do. So if no one answers, <clears throat> you can set this to go to voicemail, let's say, a general voicemail box. You can also have a night service destination here. So if they want to, they can busy their phones or, or set a button to, to send it to night service. Allows them to send this to uh, somewhere else like a mailbox or a different phone or a phone with a coverage path that goes to an EC500. Okay, so you have a lot of options in here. We're going to go down here the next page. Next page, this is Message Center. This allows you to set up this hunt group as a as a voicemail uh, kind of controller. But again, we'll talk about that later when we do voice messaging. And here's your assignment list. So we're going to do 1,000. We're going to do 1,0,2,0. And we'll just do those two for now, okay? Once you have them added, you hit enter or submit F3. I'm going to again display hunt 13. And when you display it again, it now populates the name. Because you notice it didn't populate the name when you added the names or added the extensions. Excuse me. But <clears throat> this at least will now show you which ones are assigned and just assigned to it. Okay. So how it works. Oh, let's assign this to the incoming trunk. Change trunk to. And if you want to understand more about these trunks, Go check out my uh, the basic video on trunking or the how to set up an analog CO trunk. All right, so we're going to say 1030, and that is where that comes in. Now, what's nice about that is any calls that come into this trunk, let's say I just have one analog phone line or a couple uh, assigned, you know it's going to go right to these guys. All right, so we're going to make sure of that. Now, watch what happens when I try removing this hunk group if I don't need it anymore. I hit submit, it's going to say, oh, look, you can't because your extension 1030 is assigned to an incoming destination on a trunk group. So just kind of a handy feature to know that when you try moving stuff, if it's assigned somewhere, it's not going to like it because of the fact uh, you're, you're using it somewhere. All right, so now let's, I'm going to trace the station that I'm calling from, which is 1013, that's my 4630, and now I'm going to go off hook and I'm going to call that hunk group's extension, 1030. And you can hear that it's calling one of my phones, right? See, watch, listen. Come on. Okay, that's an analog phone. I'm going to hang up and I'm going to call it again, 1030. Now you can hear the other phone ringing. So you can see the circular's working. It remembers the last extension that it called. It doesn't start over. So that's kind of handy. So that way it's, it's an equal distribution of calls throughout, throughout the call or throughout the uh, system. All right. And that's it. Very, very basic of hunk groups. Oops. I, I meant to say display. <laughs> 
Uh, very, very basics of the hunk group. But again, as we go into messaging for voicemail as well as the heavy call center stuff, we're going to be talking about hunk groups quite a bit. And actually, their name is going to change from hunk group to skill. All right, just so you guys are aware. All right, so thank you for watching. I will be making more videos as always. And uh, keep coming with uh, keep coming. To little, little. And that's it. So, <clears throat> damn. All right, and that's hunk groups. So I hope you guys uh, like this basic video on hunk groups. I'll be talking more about hunk groups as we get into call centers because their name is going to change from group to skill group. And we'll be adding a ton of other options in here as well as we'll be doing this with uh, the voicemail and how, how to set up a voicemail uh, pilot number for your users to call in and get to voicemail. All right, so that's it. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Keep giving me your suggestions as well as any comments you guys have, any, any questions you also may have, just let me know and I'll be able to help. Uh, other than that, I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.